Hello, I'm Chelsea Fry with Motor Age Magazine. A well-crafted marketing campaign can shorten the duration of the inevitable slow season and lessen the impact it might have on your business. Today I'm here with Tim Ross, who is president of Mudlick Mail and has over 15 years of automotive service sales and marketing experience. We're going to discuss today some of the strategies to consider to not only survive, but thrive during the slow season. Tim, thanks for joining us today. Ah, thank you. Thank you for having me. I appreciate it. Of course. So could you briefly explain some strategies for bringing up car count during the slow season? Yes, uh, absolutely. So you know, during the slow season in the automotive industry, it's always you know, good to have what I call some customer callback you know, program. There's a couple different things you can do. One is you need to make sure that you're still being consistent with your traditional marketing direct mail, your pay-per-click program, having a, you know, a nice organic website, those basic things. I think it's even more critical that you're, you're utilizing your existing customers the best you can as well. And so what kind of a customer retention program do you have? That's when you have existing relationships where these guys will come back in for service. They already know you. And so they're good spenders. And so that's, those are a great audience to go after. So whether you've got a, an email program that reaches them, a postcard program that reaches them, the good old phone you know a lot of uh, places that uh, we work with there's a pretty um, aggressive callback program where they can pick up the phone and their call their customers and have a, a customer appreciation week so uh, something that allows you know you to reach out to your customers to get them to come back in more proactively than just waiting for them to come back on their own that's real critical during these down times because that's when hopefully throughout the earlier part of the year, you've really tried to increase your customer base so that you have a bigger base to pull from when it slows down at the end of the year. Excellent. So in your article, you talk about how going old school can have a positive result in today's digital obsessed world. So could you explain that a little more? Well, you know, I think for us that, you know, there's a lot of digital, I call it digital fatigue out there. You know, it's important that you have a good digital footprint out there. I think sometimes people forget about the good old fashioned mailbox, you know. And so for us, uh, with direct mail actually being uh, probably the second largest spend nationwide at about $45 billion, it's still a great avenue. It's, it's a way that you can put a billboard of your company in the mailbox of somebody who's right around your shop. And so it, it helps eliminate kind of the clutter sometimes found in the inbox. A lot of us guys get several hundred emails in the course of a day, right? And so it's, it's very hard uh, to kind of stand out in the, digital, in the digital mailbox. And so you know, by putting a postcard into the mailbox, it just gives you a little bit more of a personal touch it's a little old school, but you know that they'll reach it, even if they throw it away, or at least you're going to make an impression on them. And so that is really our biggest step is make an impression on them. Because a lot of times in the digital world, it's really hard with all the digital um, tactics going out there. It's hard to stand out. So the, post, the, the mailbox can be a nice uh, old school tactic. Great. I know I personally enjoy receiving the good old fashioned snail mail. So. <laughs> Tim, thank you so much for sharing your expertise with us today and for helping shop owners improve their business. To learn more, you can reach out to Tim with questions or comments at tross at medlook.com. Thanks for watching.